I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. On May 25, 2020, George Floyd, a 46-year-old black man, died after a white police officer holding his knee on Floyd's neck pinned him to the pavement while he was in handcuffs. In the days that followed, public outrage grew over what some protesters and lawmakers said is another case of police brutality against a black man. I'm trying to get justice for my father. And no, no man or woman should, uh, should be without their fathers. And we want justice for what's going on right now. I will always love you How I do Let go of a prayer for you Just a sweet word The table is prepared for you Black Panther blew past box office estimates in its opening weekend. Huge crowds of people packed into theaters across the country to see this new superhero movie. The first ever big budget comic book story was a black superhero. Black lives have always been black. There will be mountains you won't move. Still, I'll always be there for you, how I do. I let go of my claim on you, it's a free world. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. When Barack you Obama was sworn in as the nation's first black president, some hoped he would usher in a new post-racial era in America. Kamala Harris is set to become the first woman and first person of black and South Asian descent to be elected to that role in the U.S. Black women would try everything they could, straighten their hair and lighten their skin to look as much like white women. And the black men would uh, let it be known that they thought white women were beautiful and they'd say they didn't want any ugly black woman with short hair. This whole thing. But this has changed because black people are aware now that their own appearance is beautiful, they're proud of it. And white people are aware of it too because white people now want a uh, natural wig. They want wigs like this. Dig it? It's not hate to say that we were kidnapped and brought here. It's true. It's not hate to say that we were Jim Crow, discriminated and segregated. It's true. It's not hate to say that the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in this country, came up with a hypocritical uh, uh, desegregation decision nine years ago, which they haven't enforced yet. That's not hate. That's truth. 